Boston Terrier is as American as apple pie. They're the first breed developed in the United States that's recognized by the American Kennel Club. Born in Beantown, Boston Terriers are lively, highly intelligent, and people-loving dogs. They provide endless entertainment and delightful comradeship, which makes the Boston Terrier wildly popular. So popular, Toto, the dog in The Wizard of Oz, was a Boston Terrier in several editions of the book. They're my ideal companion, for sure. They've done nothing but inspire me and make me laugh. I see a lot of Boston Terriers. It's like in the most popular breeds. It's just a really fun dog to have around. Boundless energy. I love their attitude. It's not an asthma attack. Boston Terriers uniquely have what is called a reverse sneeze, a rapid, repeated inhalation of breath through the nose to clear their passages. Unfortunately, we bred dogs that can't really breathe that well. Odds are you're going to have related health issues. The Boston Terrier's history dates back to 1865, when pit fighting was still popular. Coachmen, employed by wealthy Bostonians, began to crossbreed the swanky purebred dogs of their employers. The Boston Terrier is a cross between the English Bulldog and the now extinct White English Terrier. These dogs were originally bred as a fighting dog, and they've been bred down to what's known today as just a really great companion dog. These companion dogs have very unique characteristics. First, they are known for their expressive faces. The second characteristic is their striking color pattern. Their nickname is the American Gentleman, usually because they have these kind of perfect markings, and it looks like they're wearing a tuxedo, hence the nickname. Rose McGowan, the animal activist and actress, the star of the WB's Charmed and the blockbuster movie Scream, is a Boston Terrier fanatic. Boston's are pure comedy and pure love. They'll make you laugh all day long. They're better than any TV program. I think the best thing to describe them is incredibly sweet-natured and very clown-like. Their color pattern is brindle, black, or seal with white markings. Seal appears black, but has a reddish cast when viewed in the sunlight. The face has a white band over the muzzle and a white blaze between the eyes, and the forechest is also white. The Boston Terrier's muzzle is short, square, wide, and deep in proportion to his skull. Mm -hmm. Ever wonder why these dogs can clear a room? Because of their short muzzles, they take in air when they eat, causing... Mm -hmm. This is a dog that's going to fart. Mm -hmm. They can be gassy because they do inhale a lot of air. The short muzzle is also responsible for snorting, grunting, and snoring. This is a dog that's gonna snore. Despite the Boston Terrier's variety of sounds, they're a dog that does not usually bark unless necessary. They only bark when you rile them up to play or when someone comes to the door because they're very, very good guard dogs. People are crazy about their Boston Terriers, and Boston Terriers are crazy about their people. I'm completely bewitched and obsessed by them now. I, I just love them. This breed has inspired a legion of dedicated fans. Shake. You drive all of your friends crazy with your fanaticism for the Boston. Good girl. They have great Boston Terrier kind of knickknacks out there. I keep it to uh, one room in my house so I don't look like the crazy Boston Terrier lady, even though people call me that anyway. I got my first Boston Terrier, Miss Bug McGowan, 12 years ago, and then I got Fester, best man I've ever known, six months later, and it has been a hardcore love affair ever since then. Rose was walking through a Hollywood mall when she found Bug in dire circumstances. Her feet were kind of through these wire cages and her urine underneath. She just kind of looked about as underdog as you could get. That's right, don't put, don't put in here. Rose could don't not leave here. Bug in that cage and took her home. Six months later, she saw Fester and his condition was even worse. Everybody thought he was gonna die. He was very sick and he had a piece of metal in his stomach. Rose strongly opposes purchasing any dog from a puppy store. 
but the dog's dire conditions pulled at her heartstrings. Had I not purchased Fester and, and Bug, I don't think they would be alive. Fester and Bug had an immediate impact on my life. They kind of added an element of humanity to me that I didn't know I possessed. Rose's devotion to her dogs led her to a new calling. She rescues Boston Terriers. Boston Rescue is a really important thing in my life because you do feel like you're giving back something that has given you so much love. They find rescues that need to do emergency surgeries on the dogs they've just taken in. They've either been horribly abused or hit by a car. I like to finance those to help them find their forever homes. In addition to financing medical care for Bostons, Rose has personally rescued and placed six Boston Terriers in loving homes. Sadly for Rose, one of her first rescue dogs recently passed away. Three days ago, Fester died. He had a glial brain tumor, and it came up overnight, like two months ago. I tried radiation and chemo, and I could not save him. When I let him go, he was on his favorite blanket, and she laid down right next to him while he went to sleep. He was a gentleman, and I feel like part of me is gone. If you're thinking of adopting a Boston Terrier, there are a few considerations. While active, these dogs overheat very easily. You need to be really careful to make sure that you don't let them go too hard and too fast in the heat because they will push themselves beyond probably what they can handle. So where you live is a consideration for this breed. Boston Terriers live 15 years plus, but due to difficulties caused by the dog's facial structure, they often suffer from respiratory issues. Boston Terriers have short coats and require very little grooming. Very, very easy, small dog. Having a high degree of intelligence and determination, the Boston Terrier is easy to train. This is a tenacious dog, but this is not a tough dog to train. The Boston loves people and is a great dog for children. Boston Terriers can be really, really good family companions. So in general, Boston Terriers don't fare well in hot or cold climates. They're prone to respiratory issues. Grooming is a breeze. They're smart and highly trainable. And they're great dogs for families. I have a, a great amount of respect for this dog. This is a dog that I would definitely make a pet. When Dogs 101 continues, how did these wrinkles help the Sharpe in a tussle? Does the St. Bernard sense an avalanche in advance? And can those long ears help the Basset Hound's sense of smell?